Hello, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm Monica Weitzel, and I'll be your host for a series of short interviews with community leaders about how they can help you make the best of this tough situation that we're all going through, the coronavirus pandemic. Instead of Metro East Studios, I'm talking to you from my home, and we'll talk with our guests remotely to keep us all safe. Today, I'm talking with Metro East Director of Education, Seth Ring. Welcome, Seth. Hi, Monica. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. If you guys hear squawking in the background, that's my young young son. He's about a year old, so <laughs> pardon me. That's, that's one of the things that happens when you're working at home, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we, you know, Seth, we've been closed for, uh, Metro East has been closed for a couple of weeks now, um, but that certainly doesn't mean we've stopped working, providing media instruction and services in our community. What can you tell us about the work that you've been doing to help people stay engaged? Yeah, when this happened, you know, we made the decision to close to the public um, for obvious reasons, but we didn't want to just kind of vaporize and vanish. So what we did was we kind of pivoted and said, well, what can we do uh, with online workshops? So um, we did, uh, we just finished doing an online workshop. Basically, it's a, a film with your phone workshop. It's called the Co-Video Workshop, and it's a contest too. Um, and it's basically so that uh, people can talk about what they're doing in their like life right now, given the circumstances to stay healthy and happy. Uh, or if they have a story that they want to share about part of their struggles, they're welcome to do that too. And um, so, so that's sort of been a way that we could immediately empower people because most people do have a smartphone of some sort. And uh, un unfortunately, we can't check out our professional cameras right now. So we thought, well, let's pivot and let's Let's create something so that we can immediately empower people. I think that's great that you're letting people use things that they already have at home because they're kind of stuck there. And so uh, allow them to be creative and, and maybe make something that makes them feel a little better about the whole situation. Um, where can people find out more about the contest and uh, other things we have going on? Yeah, um, so just a second, I'm gonna do a screen share here and I'm gonna show you on our website. So I'm sharing now. Um, so if you look uh, on our website, I'm at the, I'll just start at the top here. We have this um, carousel banner that you can click on these right here. Um, the other place, if you look down here on our blog, we have uh, a couple, couple workshops and this is sort of the tip of the iceberg. We have some other things in the pipeline we're working on to get out to people. We have the video contest. So if I click here, um, you can just go in there and we're, our online workshops have passed. We've already given them, um, but it's still open for people to submit uh, submit their their video. And it's a thirty to second, thirty to sixty second long video um, about different themes. So, you know, what has been a challenging aspect of this experience, or what have you learned from it? What message of hope do you want to share with others? And do you have an interesting uh, story to share? If you if I go back here. Um, we're also doing for nonprofits, government uh, employees and educators, we're doing a free online workshop about teleconferencing, which we're doing right now. Um, and it's basically for people that are trying to figure out, you know, what software do I need to use uh, given the resources available to me and, and my circumstances? And then how do I dial in that software so we can do something like you and I are doing right now? How do we do a video conference it's meaningful that I can share my screen if I need to, that we can still work together in groups uh, and, and be able to move forward. So um, that's free and it's coming up next Wednesday, April 1st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. And then we'll have another one on April 2nd from 10.30 to 12 p.m. That's great, Seth. Now, if, if somebody misses one of those, it, will there be an opportunity to, to get that information in some other way later? Yeah, um, so if they, if they want, we will be sending it out probably in our newsletter. Uh, we will send out a link to the video so we can record that screen um, for the training um, and people are welcome to see it that way. If people, if if people can wrangle a large enough posse, um, they, they are welcome to, we, we would consider doing an, like an encore version of this because we don't know how long this is gonna be going on for and we really want to be in, um, empowering our community. And, and we feel like this is a good way that we can be instrumental. Good deal. Is there anything else we need to see on the website then? 
Yeah, I think a really critical thing is registering. Um, in order to get into the online workshops, you have to register um, and you can just click here to register online and it's gonna ask you some information. If you don't have a login, that's okay. You can just click off of that. And then we just ask you for your name, email, and phone. After that, when, when people have registered, what we'll do is we'll send them a link to the meeting which is hosted by Google Meeting, which is comparable to Zoom. It's sort of an industrial grade version of Google Hangouts. Okay. All right, that sounds great. Thank you, Seth. Yeah. Um, before I let you go, what else um, do we need to know about what Metro East is doing? I saw yeah. something there about live streaming. What? Um... That's right. So, um, and I won't. I can't speak to this as much as John Lugton, our um, head of production, can. But um, where it is safe, we are we are trying to work with different groups to potentially live stream, um, live stream. You know, important events such as announcements. Uh, we're already working with City of Gresham, I believe, right now to try and figure out solutions so that we can get the message out. And that's really critical right now. Good, that's great. Well, I appreciate your time, Seth. And um, obviously Metro Ace is still up and running and so they can, people can watch our channels and find out what we're doing there and, and participate and still stay engaged with the community. So thank you very much. Yeah. And um, if people want to find out more about what's going on in the community, they just need to you know, check in with us. Uh, community Hotline at Home will be continuing starting next week. Thanks very much, Seth. And please stay tuned for more interviews. We'll be back.